Galaxy Girl! What's going on, guys? Real Kyler... What's going on? Hey! Yuella Love, Parixim, ben Benicio Bryant! In real life, this this my Benicio? My, my songbird? What's going on, guys? Usually, you know when I do live or go live is when I put on makeup and I do some other things and they're over quickly. That's when I'm like, I need to go live because I'm not ready to wipe the face off yet. Shout out to uh, uh, Kelsey Cook, Delane Fisher, Taylor Tomlinson for having me on their self-help self -help list podcast. And uh, I was honored to be asked because I remember when they started it. You know, I always, I'm a snooper. I lurk. I see what everybody's doing. But I act like I don't know what's going on. Then when you ask me to be a part of it, I'm like, oh, of course I'll do it. Because I, I know it's, it's going well for you guys. Uh, Benicio, I'm a fan of... Is this Benicio the real one? Do your evil laugh. I don't... I Excuse you? I don't have an evil laugh. Anyway. How y'all feeling? We doing well? I don't know if anybody was coming, but I was going to be doing Off the Hook Comedy Club in Naples, Florida. July 16th through July 19th, but Florida is one of those states that is saying, don't come here. We got the cooties. So if it was a state that didn't, that wasn't a hot spot, I might still go. But Florida is the capital of stay your ass away. So next road gig, I don't know. I'm supposed to do the Comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach in August during my birthday week, the 13th, 14th and 15th, or 12th to 15th, whatever, and I don't know. Shout out to Mike Lacey. Uh, I know that he's a very careful man because that club is a uh, national treasure. So it may be open during uh, August. It may not be. I don't know. Until then, when I post that I'm doing a show via Zoom, all you got to do is either pay the money or put the time aside on your calendar and come watch. Because I just had a talk with uh, my manager. <laughs> And uh, I love talking to her because I, I need the interaction with somebody who works in the business and obsesses about it like I do. And I'm like, I really want to do a long form, I guess, a special. And, of course, the go-getters, my fellow comics, are like, you don't need nobody to give you a special. You can just do your own. And, of course, you can do your own. But where? Dave Chappelle had a wonderful special. A lot of us saw it. Most of us should. All of us should, actually. But it was in a beautiful little field in the middle of I don't know where. And they were socially distant. They had on masks. You know, it wasn't long. It was a half hour, if that, or 25 minutes. And it's out there. And I guess I could do that, you know. But not, not yet. If I had to pick a club that I'm familiar with and who's very familiar with me, I probably would hit up the owners of the cellar. And the GMs and the booker and be like, can I do can I do a quick half hour here? We could do it outside. The olive tree, they open up their outdoor dining to set up a well, maybe outdoor special. An outdoor special be cool. Why not? I we don't have to here's the thing that I've been that I kinda how I feel about specials. When Chappelle, and I'm not comparing myself to Chappelle, don't at me. But when Chappelle did his special at the comedy store in the belly room upstairs and it was a small room, dark, the audience was uh you know, not that big. Why can't... I would love to do my first official special in a comedy club. Not filled... Well, yeah, filled to capacity, but not a big-ass comedy club. Like, maybe a room that holds maybe a hundred less than that. I don't know. But I would love to just have one of my sets that I do just be the special. And I want to put something out that's longer than <laughs> what I usually post, which is anywhere between five... Sorry, three... Maybe 15 minutes, but I would love to put an actual long form special out. And I could finance it if it's not too much money myself someplace, but not right now. I'm just, I just want to go back to work. My mental health, I don't even know, is it my mental health? Or is it just, I'm a narcissist and I want to perform, I want to hear applause again. I just miss working. And mind you, if I had a regular job or the job I used to have and we were in, qu in quarantine or furloughed, I'd be like, thank you, Jesus. I hate it here. But, you know, I like my job. So it's hard to be told you can't go to work when you're like, but this job doesn't suck. But I'm happy. 
even when the money's not interesting or worthy, I still like it. But anyway, I would come see you. Thank you, Sharon Gibson, two five two. It's your way. It's your passion. It's what you need. Go ahead, girl or guy. Thank you. Man, my nipples hard. You hit the nail on the head right there. I would come see you, but I'm in the UK. I have a dream. I want to perform in the UK so bad. I want to tour the UK. And that's more possible because America's Got Talent, the episodes that I did, the four that I did during the contest in 2019, has been airing in the UK on Netflix UK. So that that takes the anonymity out of who's this chick? It's more like, oh, I know who she is. But once again, we got the cooties. We got the, the cesspool problem everywhere is icky. Can y'all wear a mask? I was, where was I? I was at the supermarket, Food Town, near my house. Had on a mask and looking for groceries. And this man walks by me, no mask, just, and he walked by close. And I want to be like, oh, man, let's wear a fucking mask. Of course you can't breathe. They're not comfortable. If they were comfortable, we'd all would have one on. I don't like them. I get in the car and take it right under my nose. I took, take my penis out. You know, you see, you see that video, that, uh, poster what is it called flyer where they say if you wear the mask that's like having your penis out if you wear it under here but uh i want this stuff to go away my god cole has anybody asked covid covid can you just go man just go how long are we gonna do this the covid got a bomb ass tour manager this piece of shit has seen the world literally how y'all doing Thank God for Netflix UK so I can watch AGT because AGT is so much better than BGT. It is, is it? Britain's Got Talent is not hitting the note for you. It's the same producer, Simon Cowell. He owns and runs all the anything GT. Australia GT, Britain's uh, GT. Yeah, Britain's Got Talent. He's the, you know, he is the, the brand, the face of all the Got Talents. And, you know... Talent is everywhere. If one thing you guys need to know, you find somebody you like, that person is one of 1,700 people that live around them or work around them that probably has talent. The problem is most people who have talent are too scared to be on TV because they don't want to be embarrassed if they don't do well. But comedians, we're like, this might suck. Let me do it anyway. We're we're particularly brave comics. Because, you know, I can think of a joke I wrote in the shower while I was wiping my patootie and be like, this should go on stage tonight. Done that many a time. Because a lot of comics aren't completely, you know, same. I will come, but I'm in Ireland. I want to perform in Ireland. How many of y'all in Ireland look like me? Would I, would I make two if I came out there? I've seen pictures and video. I, Ireland is beautiful. It's very green. It's very, a lot of green space. I, I would go. I love. I would love to go anywhere with open space. Cause I moved back to New York, and this motherfucker is not open. This is just like, hey, you're right there. Oh, there you go. That's why. That's why I miss Cali. Space. You made me laugh. You're my favorite. One of my Felicia Devitt. Devitt Devitt. Thank you. I mean, co C O. Slow down, Felicia. I'm, I'm trying to follow. Miss Sooth73, thank you for the smiley face. Can you put up a profile picture? Some of you creepos, even if you're not a creepo, just so you know, if there are people you want to talk to online, put up a profile picture. We are reluctant to engage if you got a circle and a, and a silhouette of a man or woman in your profile pic. What you hiding from? If you're not doing anything illegal, put your profile picture up and stop being creepy. I'm watching a performance right now. Yes, because Netflix, you can turn it on all day, all night. Thank you. You know what's interesting? Interesting about the AGT experience? I have not, I have yet to watch the last round that I did. The one where they told me, we love you. <gasps> Please go home. I haven't watched that one. Because to me, that's the one where I failed. That's the one where I had to go. I haven't seen it. It might be. It might be. And when the judges critique me, they they kind of critique my whole self-deprecation. The last set was about self-deprecating. However, I don't really feel that way. But Gabrielle Union and I forget the other woman's name. Damn it. Julianne Huff. They were kind of like, don't do that. Don't put yourself. And I wasn't. I was kidding. But 
I haven't watched that that last one. The first three, I adore. I had fun. The sets were easy because they were jokes that I know worked. The only thing that made it stressful was performing in front of the universe. But the last set, still haven't seen it, will not watch it because I feel like I let myself down. Anyway, you should have won. No, Lottie, there were 800,000 people with talent. I was, I had fun. You know, I might have seen charismatic, but charisma and likability, that's not everything that, you know, that's important in an uh, entertainer, but people were on there shooting themselves out of cannons and shit and singing their balls off and Cody Lee, who he had his own challenges, but he could play the piano and he was a, a mus- musical prodigy and and he was legally blind. I mean, should I have won? That's a lot of boxes to check off. And he... He overcame all those things to dazzle the world. The person who won is who was meant to win. I did try. I did inquire. I did hit up America's Got Talent producers that I still knew and still were cool with and be like, hey, how about I do Britain's Got Talent? I actually, I, I put in a request. I asked Preacher Lawson because he did it. I'm like, I want to do a Britain's Got Talent. All I got to do is live down there for a few weeks or maybe months, and hopefully I wouldn't be the one, well, hopefully, I wouldn't be paying for it. Hell no. But if y'all pay for it, I'll come down there and, you know, take a risk. So if anybody sees this from America's Got Talent, if I'm not busy, and if America, I'm sorry, if the universe is open, I'll come down to Britain, do a Britain's Got Talent, and see if I could, you know, not pass out per round. I think, I think thought you all fine. I think thought are you calling me a thought? Because thought stands for that hoe over there. Which I'm not saying is a deal breaker, but it's kind of aggressive on IG Live if you would want to say hello hello to me. But how was your mom? My mom! I was my mom! Are you from Britain? Are you from the UK? She's fine. She's healthy. She's fine. She's not here because she's not here often because, you know, even though you, you shouldn't go anywhere and she'd be lying, stuck in my... I don't go... I stay in my house and I'm nice and safe. I don't go anywhere. She'd be lying. She'd go to the store and buy buy two potatoes and a can of Pepsi. Non-essential thing she'd be going to buy. But if you have people in your family who just cannot abide by the whole stay your ass at home rule, it's because they probably would die if their whole life halted and they couldn't go anywhere or do anything. And I was really, I'm still irritated because nobody's home right now. My sister, Jessica Champagne, shout out to her. Her birthday was yesterday, and they're at her house right now with a cake. But they've been going to her house every week, like they normally do, to visit her. Family time. And I'm like, I'm not going over there. It's it's not time for those things yet. I've seen two people the whole time. This is, Well, two. I have not been in the room with more than one person at a time in months. So I'm not about to break that and go have a family gathering still a pandemic and they're thinking probably it's tricky but it's family it's still not safe it's still a pandemic people still get sick and no offense to my family but everyone in my family is retired and or not working yet or right now i am the only one working and if i get sick i can't work and if i don't get back to work and get back on these goddamn stages whether they're zooming and paying me enough to live on or in person. If I don't get back to work soon, I'm going to burn down the tree in front of somebody's house. I won't say whom because it's illegal to threaten arson and actually do it. But if you see ashes in front of someone's house, I did it because I need to go back to work. So I did not go to this birthday party because it is not time for family gatherings. Because if I get sick, that's I'm the last resource for emergency funds. Hopefully, I can afford to help if things go wrong. If I get sick, you know, the, my, my two people in my household now are retired. Fixed income. My income is fixed, and if, if fixed means ain't shit coming in. So, I don't want to get sick. I want to stay away from possible threats, and I want things to get better. I want this quarantine to end. I want COVID-19 to eat a fat dick. I want cor- cor- coronavirus to eat the other fat balls. And I want everyone to get better and stop being sick and dying. Down! Just met with admin to hopefully to get you to perform at... Oh, thank you! I sent you the AM 
I responded to your message, and uh, yes, was that is that Arizona State? You is that Arizona? I would love you sent me the message you wanted me to perform. F is it for September when the new year begins? Uh, I'm I'm down. Holla at your girl. Is it a paid gig? Cause I just finished telling you how they no money coming in. I love everyone, but y'all need y'all need to chill with the whole. We don't pay, but you know we just we we want to give back to the university and give the students some motivation. We need money. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, beautiful hard Martha, what to do, girl? That color on you, girl. You liking me? This is J Crew clearance. Because I was telling the ladies from the podcast earlier, and shout out to Kristen Key. I did her podcast earlier also. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful comic. And I've known her for a long time. Um, yes, J. Crew. The problem with this pandemic, I'm going to tell you right now, is that everybody got a sale. Everything is... And J. Crew ain't no cheap retailer. You know, their shoes start at 100 you know, and it goes up, you know, and they're, they're a blouse there. It can easily be $95. They're not cheap. But if you hang in there, J. Crew marks everything down. It reminds me when I used to go to the Gap. When I used to have a 9 to 5 in all the stores in Manhattan... <coughs> and you go into the Gap, a Banana Republic, and everything is cute. They're those two stores, <coughs> sorry, talking a lot. <coughs> the popular retailers, the Gap, Banana Republic, Ann Taylor, if they still, I think Ann Taylor is gone. I don't know. <coughs> Let's watch me have a breakdown. The key to shopping is don't buy anything you like when you see it full price on the rack. Ever. Will it be gone if you let, leave it? Probably, but most likely it's going to be there. Don't buy nothing full price, clothing-wise, ever. Because they mark shit so far down that you are like, did I spend $75 for this dress? This bitch is $8.99 now. I mean, that's low, but I don't buy anything full price because every clothing company that makes things I like will mark things down embarrassingly low. Like Old Navy? No shade to Old Navy, but y'all be tripping with the prices. And when I know for a fact, if I wait a month or two, or let a whole season go by, you can get, you can clothe a small village for $19.99 at Old Navy. Just give it a minute. Just don't buy that dress. It's a cute sundress, but it's only April when they first bring out spring stuff. Wait until June, and bitch, you can clothe a small family for, for $4. And pandemic pricing, I call it pandemic sales. Everything is on sale. Because ain't nobody going to the stores. Everyone's online. 40 million plus are unemployed. So retailers are like, girl, these sneakers, these Nikes were $200. But right now, you can get them for 40 That's all I'm saying. Anyway. You will out, you well love for someone on Lizzie Zepeda. What's up, girl? Terrell69. Just call... Makila, facts, right? You know, don't buy nothing you like. Full price. Fuck these people. You know that's not worth that. How dare you insult my wallet? And actually, boots? Girl, my one of my weaknesses are boots. I love a boot. When I lived in California 20 years, I never let go of my love of winter clothing. I'm not hiding my body. I love a layer. I love a sweater and a shirt underneath and over a, a long skirt with tights and boots. Let me tell you something. I My vagina is goes in hiding during the winter months. If you want to see my vagina, you're going to have to peel off some clothes because I love winter clothes. Picking my nose, you go to hell. Lizzie, I'm not picking my nose. This is a piece of tissue and my nose is running. So I'm just gently dabbing so I don't drip in front of your ass. Anyway. You're my, you're my favorite color. Take it off. Ha! <laughs> Jessica, what's going on? Oh, you do love pink. 
This came from J. Crew. I gave a small speech earlier how J. Crew, my favorite company in the world, that's my sister, Jessica Love. Everyone say hi to Jessica. Wish her a happy birthday. All 16 of y'all, wish her a happy fucking birthday. She turned 53 yesterday. Looks, looks great for her age. Um, King the Comedian 93. Yeah, so, uh,. There you go. Say hi to Jessica. Say happy birthday to my sister. Tell mommy to bring me a piece of cake. Please. What kind of cake is it? Because y'all be liking weird. I just like American cake. Sometimes y'all cakes be just have a lot going on. If it's regular cake with frosting, ooh, I ain't had frosting in a minute. Thank you, guy. Keep going. Happy birthday. That's, don't, why couldn't you put an asterisk in place of the U? You, you wrote full fuck. That's not nice. You're not 53. You're not. You're a spring chicken. But you almost, you know what, so. Welcome. <laughs> She's not. I lied. Yep. Keep going. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And that's the guy I bought this lipstick from Iman Cosmetics. Because I've been buying makeup online. Why? Don't know. Ain't nobody going to see my face. I mean, they are now. I buy it for this. And I love uh, I love pink. There's a pink that's even brighter than it. It's called, uh, it's called Bubblegum Pink. And this is not Bubblegum. This is Hot Pink. But Beautiful Heart Martha. 15 August. You, you better go. I'm funny. Thank you. I'm that Ganelle. Thank you. Jessica says thank you, everyone. Thank you to everyone. I don't do live much. You know why? Because this is what happens. I, I, uh, I had coffee. Let me tell you about this coffee. Let me go get the coffee thing. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. I'm right back. There's a coffee that Starbucks makes, right? $39, any advice to being almost 40? Any advice, you about to be 40. It's too late, bitch. Just come on over to the dark side. <laughs> um, there's a coffee from Starbucks. I said, I said your name for the first time and got it right. I'm that Gunnell. Okay. Thank you. I can read. Is that a hard name to say? Okay. There's a coffee that Starbucks makes. I have a Keurig single-serve maker. And it's uh, Starbucks Dark Roast. And uh, the point of it is, this is this has two times the caffeine. Can you see? Two times the caffeine. And I don't care. These single-serve machines don't give you much coffee. They give you a cup. They give you a spittoon. They give you a... Tew. This is how much coffee they give you. They give you... Tew. They don't put shit in there. So, I gotta, I make two of these to fill up a normal size coffee cup. When I tell you that this shit is... I have to go, tell mommy to bring me a piece of cake! This shit is crack. Crack cocaine. Crack. Two times the caffeine. And I drank, the other night, I drank two of these. I was up until 5 a.m., was I up reading? Uh-uh. Watching a movie? Nope. Studying for the bar exam? Uh-uh. Exercising? <laughs> of course not. Having sex? I was alone. I was just up in my bed in the dark, eyes open. I wasn't even online. I wasn't on Instagram. I wasn't surfing the web. I wasn't shopping online. I was just up like... Like that to a five. You know when I got tired? When the fucking birds out my window, more on that, started chirping and the sun came up and I saw the crack of the light through the window. That's when I was like, now I'm drowsy. But bitch, it's almost 6 a.m. That never happens to me. This motherfucker right here, if you have one, you are wired. But if you have two, you are, you are a crack addict. And I had one today. And also, do not have these after I had my cup. I made iced coffee. I put it in this and I drank and I had it, but I drank it after 3 p.m. 
When I tell you that you cannot have this shit after 3 p.m., I did it because I had a, a Zoom podcast and another one. I might have one tonight. So I want to be up. But I can't have these after in the afternoon because at 2 a.m., I'm like, wow! And the other night, when I did have my boyfriend, I think... We got a lot of issues, but the guy I'm dealing with now, the guy I'm seeing, there you go, trying to find a a nice hyper in between. I was at his house. He was asleep. I was laying next to him, and I was wide awake. You know what it's like to be wide awake? I've never been married before. I never lived with a guy. I, I Having a body next to me on a regular basis, new experience for me. Every night, and any boyfriend I've had, you know, you pussies, we never went that far. I don't know what it's like to have a man by me all the time. But lay next to a warm body is asleep. All you did, all I did was lay there next to him, mad. Like, how dare you sleep so soundly? I can't sleep. I'm like, well, I could have waked him up, woke him up. Yeah, I could have. I say waked. That even a word? I could have woke him up for you know, ba boom. But I was like, I was too irritated. I wanted to sleep. I was really long winded. Speaking of um, no point at all. These birds. What's up with these? Fucking birds. Anybody got birds outside their window? I'm about to buy a BB gun. These birds be. The so, a hint of sun comes up and these birds are just. I mean, they are chirping loudly and the same sound. They can make it for two hours. Imagine somebody, a singer, holding a note for two hours and you go to the concert. You'd be like, you'd get your purse and you would tell your your date, let's go. Why is Celine Dion holding that note for so goddamn long? These birds, they hold, they, they make the same, there's like this one bird outside my window. Every morning, he makes the same sound and he holds the note and does it over and over again for like two hours. These these pandemic pigeons, I don't know what the fuck they are, but they need to, we need to, I'm, I'm not against like putting out bird feed and poisoning all of them. PETA, don't at me. Animal lovers, eat a fat one. I need to sleep. Who gets to live? Me or these goddamn birds? Me! Anyway, I'm hyper on this IG live because I just finished one of these. So I'm gonna, I would like to recite Declaration of Independence in Spanish because I'm caffeinated. Anyway, back to this. We got lots of crows. Yeah, those are the devil's birds. I don't like crows. Don't they be singing? Oh, at night? Girl! And then you're... <laughs> right? Pandemic pigeons are bold. They ha- they don't give a shit about your schedule. And they just make so much noise. And somebody told me it was mating season. I'm not sure if that's happening now, but like a month ago, they were like, well, they're mating, and that- that's their mating call. I don't know who wants to fuck a bird that makes a noise for a half an hour straight. Nobody'd want to sleep with me after I'm chirping and whistling for two hours. Who'd want that? You know how you get somebody to, to fuck you when you're in during the mating season? Don't make any noise. Also, the men that have, that have liked me have told me to my face, I like getting best when you're quiet. They're gone now, but people who call me loud. I'm not loud. Anyway, see, B.T. Kingsley, my love, I miss you. You're such a weirdo, but I love you. I'm crease, you creasing me up. Did you have a stroke? Cause that that that's not even close to cracking. That's not even. You got the light on? Did you mean to say you cracking me up? Because you creasing me up means you are dyslexic, and school was not a big deal for you. And the glasses. BT, what about the glasses? I, I, I always wear these. These are my, these are my, uh, my designer prescription glass. I have silly glasses that didn't cost. But these, these are the glasses where if you lose these, you you crying for at least two days. Needed what? You all of love? What you need? What you need, girl? Andrezika? I'm not loud. Ha ha. Don't shade me, BT. I'm not loud. Everybody who loves me or even knows me, if I suddenly stopped being loud, you'd be so scared. You'd be like, Jackie gave up on life. What's going on with you, BT? What's happening? How did your top five thing go? Tell me a joke. Kiss my ass. Pay me. BT, tell how did your top five thing go? I could listen to you 
all year. Nah. People say that, and then they're around me. They're like, you're chatty. Daughter is driving. Daughter is driving Alexa crazy. Why? Is she just kicking it with Alexa? I don't have any of those gadgets. Alexa, I have Siri, of course, because of the computer and the phone, but Google Assistant, none of that stuff. Lashes are sexy with the cr- Oh, shit, BT, are you seeing me in a- are you seeing me in a different light? Is that what it is? I know you like curly hair. I remember you saying something about you love a woman who had a, a big head of naturally curly hair. And I don't know why you were telling me that, but you were just sharing what you were attracted to. I'm a good-looking girl, BT. Just because you didn't want in Spanish don't mean that other men don't. Okay? Okay. Favorite AGT judge? I like Simon. People are always shocked to hear that. Um, I like Simon because Simon is real. He gets a lot of criticism, but, you know, we, when he had American Idol, and uh, comedians never win. They might win. I don't know. Simon I like, because Simon, I think, Simon can tell when you are actually talented. Because people are out there, there are a lot of fame, fame, people who are hungry for fame. And they are talented. But Simon can really tell that whatever you're doing, your talent, you would do it with or without money. He can tell. So I like the fact that I know if he says you got something, whatever that is, it's probably real. He can sense when you're not bullshitting. Uh, BT missed out. Ah. Let me tell you something. When I lived, I lived in LA for 20 years. I had sex maybe six times. I'm exaggerating, but not by much. Now my attitude towards uh, I like gaps. All right, BT, you had your shot. It's too fucking late. I um, when I was in LA, what was I gonna say? When the week that I moved back to the East Coast, I had a gig on the East Coast. I got laid the weekend I came back. and I, The first weekend back officially as a New York resident, an East Coast resident, I got laid. In California, my attitude towards all the men in California who either I hit on, they were like, no thanks, or they didn't hit on me. My attitude towards all of them now, and I mean all of them. All of them. You mean so-and-so? Yep, him too. So-and-so, yep, him too. Comedians, all comedians, actors, singers, fucking men who did mime, miming, clowns. I don't care, you so, you played the clarinet. I don't care, improv. I don't care what you did for a living. If you were a male, identified as one, and born as one, biologically, any of them who did not hit on me, my attitude towards them now is, how dare you? How fucking dare you? How dare you? How dare you? And I hit on a couple of dudes that were just like, oh, girl, no. And now, things happen for a reason or don't. But I still think all of them, all of them, if we are great friends now, you two, how dare you? How dare you? How fucking dare you? How dare you? I'm sticking with it. Don't care. As soon as I got back to the East Coast, I got laid. I got off the airplane. Matter of fact, you know how you got to walk off an airplane and as you walk out, the pilot stands by the opening of the cockpit to say goodbye? The pilot was like, I'll hit that. I didn't even step foot on New York land yet. And I was still getting hollered at before I even got my bag from baggage claim. How dare you? How dare all of you? Now I'm on the East Coast and I have to actually take, my vagina has to take breaks so I can air it out. Because I'm cute here. I don't know what y'all were doing in L.A. I was just as fine in L.A. as I am here. How dare you? B.T. Kingsley, how dare you never have hit on me? How dare you? I, I wouldn't have fucked you. But you should have tried. You never tried. How dare you? B.T., you can stop with the funny shit. I will always hit on you. You never hit on me for real. I don't want you to. You are my family. You're my brother. We, are, we share the same DNA now. But you never hit on me. Everybody's supposed to hit on me. That's just the rule. That's just the rule. You know who would agree with me? Lulu Gonzalez. She ain't on this now, but I know if she sees this, she'll be like, yep, they should all hit on you. All, everyone, just on GP. Or receive my advances and give me what I want. You gonna be happy? I'm gonna make sure you happy. I'm a generous lover. Anyway, I don't know how it went down this path. Where did, How we go? Is it because of this? 
to the truth serum. And I'm sober. BT is lame. He's not really. He's not, okay. I don't want to make BT get. No, fuck that. Insist. No, I love you, BT. There are a few guys that I left in LA that I actually I think about and I actually love. BT is one of them. BT is my family. By the sounds of it, you need some action. You can kiss my ass, CPP, 1994. I had action yesterday. Taking a break. I might, you know, make a phone call and go visit later, but I get plenty. I get, I get, the whole point of me ranting is I get plenty of action now. But anyone who didn't try to get action out of me when I was in Los Angeles for 20 years can eat a fat one. Ugh. Anyway, I hope we go out to go down this path. By the sounds of it, I already addressed this. Daphne listens 80. You a doctor? I love you, but fuck all that. We fucking now. BT, it's not going to happen. Don't embarrass yourself. Brian E. Miller is wonderful. Because, you know, before you all met him on America's Got Talent, he and I had God knows how many shows together. Here's the thing. The comics that are on... Forbidden fruit. Forbid these fruits. The comics on America's Got Talent, we all know each other. It's rare you're going to find a comic who is either not eating, either friends or co-workers. Or co- we know each other. And have known, known each other for years. I've known Ryan E. Miller years. You understand me? Years. We've had God knows how many shows together. Samuel Comro, God, but The amount of shows he has had where I go up before him or he goes up after me. Too many to count. Drew Lynch from years ago, many shows together at the Comedy and Magic Club Hermosa Beach. Vicky Barbalak, many shows together. This season, Ty Barnett, one of my closest friends, he and I, I've known him for a decade. Who else? Marty Ross, the 80 year old, uh, the one who murdered the stage recently. Known him for years. Many shows. So we all know each other. So when you ask me what I think, I'm going to give you positive feedback because we all work together in the same field. Sounds like slavery. We're not picking cotton. In the same field of work. And uh, we all if we're on that AGT stage, we, we deserve to be there because we have performed 300 shows probably that year alone before you, you guys see us. Can you tell a joke? No. Hashtag on the spot. Hashtag go to hell. Um, Ty, wasn't he good? I love Ty. You know, what? I, I met Ty. I didn't. Well, I didn't. I found out about him when he was on Last Comic Standing years ago. Look it up. Google it. He was on Last Comic Standing years ago, and he performed with so much confidence. When I watched him, Alonzo Bowden from back in the day, Kathleen Madigan, I loved the contest that show when it was really hot. And then I met Ty in person at Flappers in Burbank, and I was a fan. I was like, oh my God, you're the dude. He's been doing it for so long on a level that I'm probably not at yet. Confidence. And when I saw him on AGT, I saw what I saw in Last Comic Standing. On a huge stage, the world watching, literally. And he had this calm about him like, this is what I do. He might have pooted before he said his name because nerves are natural. But what I saw on AGT stage is what I became a fan of from Last Comic Standing. And that's what you guys deserve. If we end up on that stage, we're going to bring you the cool, calm, and collected, experienced comic that we are. Mark Wallace. A lot of ha, ha, ha. Yes, Ty is fantastic. Thank you, BT. You are also hilarious. <laughs> pooted. Like I'm nine years old. He probably pulled it before they said his name. Who's in it? Oh, there's a picture I noticed that I took earlier on the bottom of the screen. Are you friends with any of the winners? Yes. Did you get it? I just did a rant. Are you new? I'm friends with all of them. Every comedian on that show I know. You know who I didn't know? I lied. Preacher Lawson. Never heard of him before he's on the show. Now, one of my good friends. He's the only one in the comedians who have been on that show in the last five years. I did not know. I know who he is now. So do y'all. We all know who he is now. Shout out for England. Hey. What it do? Hey, beautiful. Hey, Kisa Chica. Why Why you made this? Why you picked the emoji with the sad face? Why you picked the constipated emoji face? You need the shit? Are you backed up? Did your mom support you in the end or no? She don't give a damn. 
Oh my God. Gap, glasses and curls, and the degrees behind you, we go to get on. Oh, you turn on by the smarts and the natural hair and the glasses and the gap teeth. You know, those things together sound sexy. You're right, BT. I'm attractive. Still too late, though. LOL, no I L Y. You clearly are very young. I'm not familiar with that acronym. What is I L Y? In life, yo. In love, you. What are those green things in your glasses? Green. Oh, I have a light. There's a ring light you can buy online when you're doing online video. I bought the light online because I do a lot of video for comedy or or meetings or just light. When you're doing when you're doing video for the world to watch. On a regular basis, you have got to invest in equipment, production equipment. You got to get one or two big bright lights, a table that can hold up, you know, your laptop to this level. I have a fan blowing. That's why I'm beyond saying it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh shit, Mama, let me upgrade you. Um, so I love you. I there you go, Ganell. I'm ha. I'm 18. It's I love you. Oh, duh. I didn't try hard enough. I could have. I knew you were young. Look at that. Hey, you whippersnapper. You little tadpole. I knew you were young. And I L Y, duh, makes total sense. Can't wait to use it now. I love you. It keeps shining back. Yes, I see it. Are you? Is it bothering you guys? This is um I G live. We're just kicking it. Are y'all complaining? I need to. I'm trying to read the comments. I'm gonna bet you are a baby, and I'm cussing like a sailor. Because trust me, there's there's Jackie and then there's appropriate ja- or appropriate, but I cuss. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to go. Because this IG Live is just me talking about nothing. So, Kisa Chica, thank you for joining me. You're 18. I love young people. I'm not the kind of person who hates you if you're young. If you're young, I want to be around you because you help keep me young. I have that light ring there that is so bright. They are, aren't they bright? Let's see how it looks when it's sexier and not as bright. Let's see. Ooh, is that better? Mm-hmm. How's that? Not as bright. Let's DM. Are you a boy or a girl, Kisa Chica? Talk to me here. DMing an 18-year-old? Eh, we're, we're going through some sensitive times right now. I'm not sure about that. How about 15? Damn. Children up on here. Who told? I know I was clean on AGT, but I am not clean in real life. I'm a girl. Okay. I'm a girl, too. You're still DMing with somebody who's 18? Girl or boy? Ah. You get a letter from your parents. I'm kidding. You could DM me. We could, we could kick it. Go live more often. Okay, Zepeda. Madison K. Kinsey. I only like the boys. I am as gay as they come. Okay. Thank you for the announcement. Are you coming out now? Or did we already know you were gay? If you are. You know what's funny about people who are gay who announce they're gay? You ain't got to do that. Sometimes you don't have to. Well, I don't announce that I'm heterosexual. Nobody cares. Do your, get your gay on, baby. Mm. Madison K. Kinsey. What's going on? I'm saying hi back. Now talk to me. I didn't call you gay. The gay one is Kane.ih underscore X. Will you reply? Why? What do you want to talk about? Talk to me. I, y'all are funny. Can I DM you? Or you can talk to me right now because I'm talking to you right now. But you want to ask me. Ask me here. Oh, yeah, the questions. I, you can get a question. Let me look it up. How are you? I'm great. Jackie for president. Okay. Questions are a little boring. I came out to my mom's fanny, and she said, and she said I was gay. I never had a couple. Well, it's, that's rude. No one should be pulling you out the closet. You're supposed to walk out. <laughs> Trust me, honey. I have met people who are way older than me, and they're as gay as a bag of peacock feathers, and they're, they're not coming out. So no one should pull you out. You, you walk out when you're ready. New York has better food, girl. 
LA has more healthy options that are everywhere, but New York food, because there's so many, you know what it is? You could go for a walk in New York and eat 18 different types of foods from 18 different cultures. There's too many reasons, there's too many ways to have pizza, and then a bag of nuts, and then a hot dog, and then a gyro. How about a falafel? You want to get some Af African food? Ooh, Mexican restaurant. Hey, it's Puerto Rican restaurant. This being fat as hell in New York, very easy. That's why people walk around, because they're like, I like to eat everything, so I'm going to walk. Are you, an, are you a rival? No. With Gabriel Iglesias? Not at all. Why'd you say <laughs> that question is weird? Who inspires me? Uh, Wanda Sykes. Why are you asking if I, if I got a problem with Gabriel Iglesias? I have eight questions. Let's see where they are. Are you an actress? I am. Where were you, where were you born and raised? Bronx, New York. AGT, your your what what was your fave experience on AGT? How are you? How far north have you been? I don't know. Where's north? Define north. I don't know geography. I knew all the time. I used to dress up like a Cinderella, and then I sucked a ding dong, and knew I was gay. Eh, and these days, is is sucking a ding dong enough? <laughs> These days, people who are gay, people people who are... Hey, Sabrina! What's up, babe? Who are you dressed for? I did a Zoom podcast, and I, I did two Zooms, and I kept the makeup going, because when I do Zooms and get made up, I want to use it. And I may, I, may, I may run a quick errand later. Love your hair. It's natural. I had a chemical relaxer. My entire life from age 13, and I stopped relaxing my hair maybe four years ago. So it is natural. It looks like it's beautiful and naturally curly. Ain't nothing natural, honey. I got to oil it and then put the little the Bantu knots, you know, small little knots. Sleep with it. Take it out the next day. This is, oh, um, this is a pink color from Iman Cosmetics. Go to Iman.com. Google Iman Cosmetics. It's way brighter. I put a lot of liner, purple liner into it because it's very like quick girl. He ain't quick. That's part of the problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I saw you on the line with Sherry Shepard. Oh, there's no uh, ri rivalry with, uh, with Gabriel Iglesias. His name is Gabriel Iglesias, you guys. That's a, that TV show is fictional. Mr. Fluffy. You know what? I've never met him. Never met him. I'd love to. He's a he's a gift to the comedy community. People, he's helped a lot of comics. I would love to meet him one day. A question: Did you have any confederation confederation with anyone? A confederation? That the word you want to use? I'm confused. Confederate? What is? How is that? Do you still watch it? Not much. Not too much. You know why? Kind of when I watch the show now, I get kind of I get kind of nauseous. Cause I just remember, it wasn't a year ago that I was on it. I was on it less than a year ago. So I just, I watch it now and I still kind of get kind of nervous. And I remember what it was like backstage. It was just such a production. That show and it's run like a fine tooth comb. It is run very professionally, very very seamlessly. They got that shit down. But when I watch it, I still get a little bit of pooty poot. In my, in my booty boot. Please say hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Emma Casper. My friend. Who's your friend? Kisa Chica, 18-year-old. Who gonna be on the show? How was it? AGT was fantastic. Confrontation. <laughs> no. Not one con... No. I, oh, I made love with everyone there. Illegal age. I AGT was... The best. I have a tattoo, actually, from the show. Will the show? Can I show it to you? Chunky arm alert. Get ready. AGT! I got a tattoo when I was on the show. So that those, that show you know, the show was all positive. All blessings. Music? I listen to everything. Detroit Youth Choir! From AGT! Hallelujah! 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 Loved you guys. 
beatboxing on a harmonica. Oh, let's do it. You better get your beatbox on. I'm excited to see it. Julianne, I love her. I love her too. When I when I saw that she was a judge, I was like, ooh. Because Dancing with the Stars, ooh, I used to watch that show so much when she was on it. And she was a winner. She kept winning every season. Julianne Huff is the true. I wanted her to dance on AGT. She could have. You have so much energy. You know why? I did a, a small commercial earlier. This right here, two times the caffeine, Starbucks, put it in your Keurig single serve. You will feel like you've just taken crack. I'm not going to be asleep until tomorrow. This is why I got to go visit somebody, Sabrina, because I'm wired. This is better lighting, isn't it? The other one was so bright. You still see the, the rings, but... Not if I, if I look down, it's less it's less weird. Now it's like this. Burlesque, yeah, she's a great dancer. Tips on becoming an actor. <laughs> Can I get some tips? Get good, get big, not big. Get really good where you live. Don't pack your stuff and go to Hollywood. Get good where you are. Find a theater. Do some plays. You know, I didn't move to Hollywood to be a comedian. I did comedy every night after work in Orange County, California. After work. I had a secure job. I was a stand-up comic at the co the clubs or the lounges after work. And I got I took like three, four years to get comfortable on stage. And then I moved to L.A. and decided I would try and be a, a personality that you guys may have, heard, may have heard of at some point. But get good where you are. Don't pack up. And move to the big city or move to Hollywood with no plan. Especially not now. Now is not. This is how this pandemic will teach you guys. Don't quit your job and pack your stuff to go move to any big city without a plan. This is not the time to go find a friend and couch surf and <clears throat> think you're going to drive Uber for a living and, and bartend. Those days, not right now. Don't you draw, don't you pack up your stuff and leave to move anywhere right now unless you have a plan or a job in place. Because right now, with the amount of people who are unemployed, dreams, they matter, but be, be strategic with them. I'm in Iowa at 7 p.m. Okay, Madison K. Kenny, you just want to let me know the time. I don't fear, get you down, and don't let no one tell you you're not good. Eh, unless you're not good. <laughs> Sometimes you need to have, if you don't have any history of somebody telling you that you're good at what you do, you should rethink doing it. I've been told I'm funny my whole life. Whether it's from the principal being in detention <laughs> all the time, or friends, or co-workers. So I, I knew I was funny when I started becoming a comic. I didn't go into it like, I don't know if I'm funny or not. But hey, knock, knock. If you have, hopefully you have a talent that is peeking its way out through your in your life. People are seeing it and it, it gives you a sign. Like maybe this is a sign I should pursue this. But if you get told a lot that you suck, guess what? You probably suck. Gabe is on YouTube doing his shows. Good. Are you in love with Gabriel Iglesias? I feel like you're in love with him. Why are you still on me about Gabriel? I don't know him. I wish him nothing but the best, but I've never met him, and I don't know him. Yeah, well, that could be a sign. Class comedian, but don't, but being a class clown and get, getting kicked out of class don't mean you're ready to do stand-up. It could mean you you need Ritalin and you got a behavioral problem. <laughs> so, I love Gabe. Great, wonderful. I don't know Gabriel Iglesias. Stop asking me about him. I think it's... I don't have any... <laughs> you know what it is? You guys meet someone and you think it's a celebrity. I don't think I am. My bank account will show you I'm not. But you think that talking to me means you're talking to Gabe. I don't, I don't know him. Thanks for all this fun, Jackie. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Columbia. Hulk. The, hey, Hulk. What's going on? It was fun out there. We didn't have much time together, but that was a fun weekend. I had a good time. Oh, relatable. Thank you, Clang. XOXO. I'm more dirty comedy. Like, I really have a dirty mind. We all do, sweetheart. We all scum. 
We just pretend not to be because our mothers don't want us to be. Great comedian. You killed AGT. I, I, I sing, which is totally different, but I support. Thank you, 18-year-old. All right, I'm getting off. Jackie, I found you on to hear talk show. Been fucking with you ever since. You know what I'm saying? Let me guess. You black? <laughs> I'm fuck with you too, girl. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. Thank you. I love to hear. Those of you who don't know, to hear more is a uh, a light skinned man. I'm joking. That's irrelevant. I just wanted it to be funny. He is a fellow comedian, good friend of mine, married to the hottest woman in the world. And um, he has a show. He has a talk show. It's called. It's a talk show. It's a. It's a. A hangout, but it's called Zooming with the Homies. Hashtag Z W T H. It's on YouTube on his network. YouTube dot com slash to hear more. T A H I R M O O R E. It's on every Monday through Thursday, seven p.m. to nine p.m. You may hear that two hours and be like, "Damn!" But trust me. It go by like it's a half hour show. So go check it out. Also go to my page, JackieFabulous.com, and you can find my YouTube page. I need to get my shit together. And um go on there and subscribe to my page. I'm gonna call this this is my episode of Relatable with Jackie Fabulous. This is my podcast. <laughs> Cause I have one on iTunes. It's called Relatable. Relatable with Jackie Fabulous. Go on there. I have 10 episodes up. This is going to be episode 11. I'm going to bring it back because I don't be online. I don't let, I do not do my podcast regularly. I'm not lazy. I just... I don't think anybody wants to hear me talk about nothing. I'm a little bit... Self-esteem issues. But I like doing it. And the whole point of doing it is build it and they will come. So this is my episode of Re- Relatable with Jackie Fabulous. Go to my YouTube Go to my website to get there, JackieFabulous.com. And you can subscribe to my YouTube page because it's time for me to build my own presence and my own brand online because clearly I like to talk and be on camera. Okay? All right. Thank you, Daphne. Daphne listens, 80. I have not met Dwayne Johnson. What type of arbitrary questions? Have I met The Rock? No. I was not the weirdo. I was the fun girl. Never been weird, but I am fun. I have TikTok. I put two videos up. I have many followers. I don't even know why. Not many. Maybe like 12. Anyway. Eve Ellistar, bless. Bless you too, boo. And I'm going to go because this is really just heading off into nowhere. So, <laughs> thank you guys. Go to my website. I'm gonna, I hope this video was saved. I can save it. And I'm going to post it on my YouTube page and probably IG if he lets me. It's been, I was talking for a long time about nothing. You are the weirdo. You do you, Madison K. Kenzie. You be weird. Fuck the haters.